Hi all. Uh, welcome to this session of SAP uh, Supply Chain Management of Videos uh, Basics. Uh, we have been dealing with uh, WM, MM, SD and all. Uh, now in this session uh, we would be dealing with how to do a goods receipt with respect to an inbound delivery. In the previous uh, videos we have already seen how to create an inbound delivery and then how to create a TR uh, and then how to create a transfer order and then how to confirm the transfer order and now we would be seeing how to do a goods receipt uh, for an inbound delivery now let me tell you that uh, you cannot do a goods receipt for an inbound delivery unless and until you have already created a transfer order so the only difference between a goods receipt with respect to an inbound delivery versus goods receipt with respect to a purchase order is uh, in purchase order you can straight away do a goods receipt the moment you receive the material but in inbound delivery first the material comes in and then only you post a goods receipt now let's see so the transaction code is uh migo so let us go to migo okay uh, now here uh, we have to select uh, the goods receipt let's see yep we have here goods receipt and then we have to select the inbound delivery so we have got an inbound delivery okay this is my inbound delivery uh 187 so uh, this is the one what we have done previously we have already created this so you can check out my previous videos uh, how we have created the inbound delivery and uh, how we have created a transfer order what is the confirmation way um, now in this uh, we will be just looking at how to do a goods receipt so here uh, the moment i am pressing uh, i'm going to press enter now the moment i'll press enter it should pick up all the details okay so i created this inbound delivery only for one quantity uh, basically you can see here the moment i have 101 which is nothing but goods receipt basically and uh, this is the material so if you look at the material if you'd like to see the material number and all you need to click on the material and uh, here you can see the material number and then the quantity we have total quantity here if you look at whatever the quantity we would have picked up all the quantities will come here and then we also have the wm data here so you can see here that uh, the put away quantity is one basically and uh, here this is the palletization data basically so uh, the storage unit type is e1 and uh, this is the palletization so if in case uh, you'd like to change the palletization you can always do that here uh, the purchase order data is here where you can see the purchase order number with which we have created this inbound delivery and you can see here step in terms now uh, let's try to do the uh, migo so for that you need to go to the quantity and then here you can see what are the quantities here say for example if you have received the entire quantity then you will be mentioning here entire quantity if uh, say here is 100 quantity and uh, you have received only 50 then mention it as 50 only and then say item okay so here if the material what we have received is perfect in perfect condition everything is perfectly all right we will just say item okay and then we will say check and so we can say the document is okay so we need to just post it now so i'm going to click on the post wow so here the metal document is posted you can see here the metal document got posted uh, and uh, this means that the so I'm going into the display of the material document now so here you can see that uh, quantity 1 hollow shaft so this one is done right and uh, we have received it so you can see here here it is in 902 and the storage bin so all these things it has picked up pretty well and the goods movement type is 101 and quantity is one so it is there lying in our system right now so this is how you would be uh, doing a goods receipt with respect to uh, inbound delivery please do subscribe to our channel to watch a uh, little more videos uh, we been upcoming will be upcoming with uh, many more videos like this and we will try to make the life into SAP a little easy. Uh, thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe to our channel and please do encourage us. Thank you so much.